No, I'm McGrath here for SphereMMA.com with Caitlin Chikagan, ahead of UFC 205 um, and our battle against Liz Carmouche this Saturday night. First of all, Caitlin, pretty special for you. I you know you're from New Jersey, New York. Um, all your teammates as well have a big, big fight that's coming up on this card. Just, just your feelings, thoughts must be very special for you. Um, yeah, you know, being able to fight just with on the card with my teammates, uh, Frankie Edgar and Eddie Alvarez, just that in itself is, is an awesome experience. You know, I've looked up to them in training and in fighting for my whole career, so to be able to be on the same card as them is definitely an honor for me. Um, and then on top of it, to be at like the most, like mo the biggest event ever and the biggest arena and stuff, it just makes it all so much better and just pushes me that much more. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've spoken to Mark. We do it with podcasts. We, we've had many of your teammates on. Um, you know, what's it like in relation to you know getting to work with Mark, getting time with Mark? Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of guys fighting. Um, you're very much a stand-up fighter. Does he have to like? You know, maybe distribute um, his attention differently to, to fighters ahead of, you know, the amount of how many teammates exactly is it? Four. Four. I think he's more than four people. Four. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's tough, but um, Mark doesn't sleep, so it's not that tough for him. So, for you know, it seems like a lot for everyone else, but he doesn't sleep. He does. He's cornering four people. He has his own business and a family, and I don't know how he does it. What he does is way harder than any anything that we do. Um, but that's definitely what keeps us together as a team, and um, that's I think a lot of our success is due to him. Of course, is it a lot? Is it maybe a little bit easier that, that everyone's fighting on this big card for, for nerves and you know preparation going into that in, on a mental level. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of nice, like, I fought, my last fight was in July, and not, and no one else was on the same card, but the same week, Eddie and Frankie fought in the same week, and then the same month, Edson fought, and Marlon Mariah, so it was the whole July was, even though it wasn't the same card, we all fought within three weeks, and it's kind of the same thing now, and it, it just makes for a great atmosphere in the, in the training room for the whole camp, but, um, it's like that all the time in our, at our camp, no, you know, none of those guys, we don't take time off after a fight, so, if you walk in the gym two weeks before UFC 205, or, or two weeks after 205 the room looks exactly the same but um, you know it's pretty cool like during fight week to be able to train all of us yeah we're all training in the gym together so it really just makes you more comfortable it feels like just another day at practice. Liz Carmouche um, you know obviously a hardy vet um, was involved in the first ever women's UFC title fight just your thoughts on her as an opponent first of all a difficult fight she's gonna want to grapple I'm presuming you're gonna want to stand and bang yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a mixed martial artist. I'm also a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so I'm 100% confident on the ground, you know, just because my last couple of fights were mostly stand-up. Um, I, I train wrestling and jiu-jitsu just, you know, just as much, if not more, than most other fighters. So I'm confident wherever the game goes. Uh, you know, she's, you know, has more experience in the UFC. She's been around for a lot longer. She's super tough, always comes in in shape, super professional, so I'm expecting that. Um, but I've also... I'm new to the UFC, but I'm not new to, to training martial arts, so I think I have a lot of experience that people don't know about. Definitely, I'm looking forward to it. It's a fight I think that's running under um, the radar here a little yeah. bit in fight week. Definitely. Yeah, it's the first one, so I think it's a good, it'll be a good showcase. Definitely, I can't wait for it, and obviously a lot of the other fights on the card, but your teammates, is it going to be a full house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. It's not even, not even a question, yeah. Especially Eddie Alvarez, obviously Irish interest here with, with Conor McGregor and Eddie. Uh, just your thoughts on that bit? Yeah, um, I think it's going to be a great fight. It's, I think everyone's interested in him being from the East Coast and then obviously Conor with, all, with the huge support that he has. It, you know, it just makes for an awesome fight for fans, for fighters, um, for everything. But yeah, of course, I think uh, Eddie's more experienced and more well-rounded. So of course I see him winning. Caitlin, it's been a real pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, thank you.